In this video, we're going to take a look at how to access the whiteboard mode. So currently we're in PC interactivity mode, uh, but if I don't want to be interacting with my PC, I want to pull up a whiteboard, a digital whiteboard, so that I can uh, jot down notes or draw some pictures or whatever the case might be. Uh, to do that, I'm going to come over here to the home button. And it'll pull up all the different inputs that I can access for the computer. So also, uh, if I had a document camera or another device hooked up, I could easily click and go to that. You can see that this is my PC. Down here is where I would access the whiteboard. So from here, I just click, click, touch. And now I have my whiteboard, which I can now interact with uh, with a number of different pen tools and so on. Now that we're in whiteboard mode, on the left hand side we've got some some different ways that we can interact with the board. These four squares here will pull up a background image so we can choose to have lines or grids in a, a couple of different styles, green background, black background, or white background. When I pull up the lines I now have what looks like lined paper on the board. So I can write on these um, as I'd like. Now that we've selected a background, we can also zoom in and out on that background. So for instance, if I want my lines to be farther apart for ease of writing on the board, I can come over here to the magnifying glass with the plus sign in it, and I can zoom in. And as I zoom in, the lines get wider and wider. Uh, I can then add whatever, sorry, I do need to close out of the window before I can again interact with the board. And now I can write on the board at whatever size it's at. And then I can then also come back here to the magnifying glass and return it to minimize. Uh, there is a magnifying glass with a times one. That will quickly take me back to the original setting. So if I click that button, it instantly goes back to where we were at the beginning. Um, I can also, the next one over the magnifying glass with the square around it, will allow me to select and it will zoom in to whatever section that I, of the board that I've, I choose to zoom in on. And again, I can hit the times one and it'll return me back to the original size. And if I'm ready to interact with the board again, I close out of that menu and again, I'm able to uh, right on the board. Yeah. In whiteboard mode, I also have the ability now to add additional slides. So I can add another, an additional page. If I've finished with the first page and want to continue, I can add another one. Um, and, and I can continue to add additional pages as I need. Um, I can also delete pages. So if I want to delete the current page, yes I do. Takes me back to the previous page. And again, that's the button on the left hand side here with the X. And I can delete the pages as we go through. Eventually if I delete my last page, it takes me back to the first slide. And I can change the background as I need. A couple of tips that I could offer in terms of how, how the whiteboard works. Um, if I want to remove writing from the board, I can hit the undo button and it will undo my writing step by step. If I undo too far, I can redo and add the writing back in. I can also use the trash can to clear the screen. But when I do that, I am unable to undo that. So if I do the trash can, it's gone permanently. Um, if I delete the screen, it also is deleted permanently. So if you want to undo writing, you need to use the undo fun function as opposed to using the trash. Another tip that would be useful is to know that you can set the two different pens to different writing styles or features. So one pen could be blue, one pen could be red, um, or one pen could be blue and one could be a highlighter uh, or a pen and a highlighter. The other thing is your touch features, the way that you interact, um, 
you can set your finger to be one tool and your pen to be another. So for example, I might set my pen to be the blue ink and I might set my finger to be the eraser and I can choose the width of the eraser that I'd like and now as I, if I write, I can come along with my finger and erase quite quickly and easily and that allows me to interact uh, seamlessly with the board.